each new star, information is power, the current, the news headline. We may stop military assistance to Buhari government, United States warns. The news in full. The United States, US, has once again warned that it may stop rendering military assistance to the President Muhammad Buhari led uh, Nigerian government if it fails to protect human rights. The United States Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, who gave the warning also, urged the federal and legal state governments to sanction any individuals found to have violated human rights during the October 2020 NSAS protest. When the White Paper on Legal State Judicial Panel of Inquiry on Restitution for Victims of SARS related abuses and other matters is ready, he warned that if the rights violation persisted, then the United States government might evoke the lay law to deny Nigeria access to hardware, which includes arms and other military equipment to fight terrorism and other forms of criminalities. An eight-man panel led by retired Justice Doris Okuobi had submitted a 309-page report to the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu on Monday, indicting soldiers and police for killing peaceful protesters at Lekito Gate on October 2020. Describing the Lekito Gate incident as a massacre, the panel report stated that at least nine persons were killed by security agents at the scene and listed 48 names as casualties, including 22 protesters who sustained gunshot injuries and 15 others allegedly assaulted by soldiers and police. During a meeting with Buhari on Thursday in Aso Rock, Abuja, Blinken had said that America anticipated the response of the federal and legal state governments to the panel's findings. On Friday, Blinken met with members of the civil society in Abuja, reiterating the U.S. demand for justice. In an interview with CNN, Blinken urged Nigeria to bring those indicted by panel reports to book. He said that the United States might evoke the Lee law on military aid against Nigeria if the country failed to protect human rights. The Lee law is an American rights ordinance that prohibits the U.S. government from providing military assistance to foreign security force units that violate human rights with impunity. Asked during the CNN interview whether the U.S. had changed its conclusion in the light of the panel's report, Blinken said he was waiting for the full report to be released by the Lagos State government. He, however, argued that the most important thing was ensuring that those wanting uh, those found wanting face the full weight of the law. He said, but a couple of things are really important. As I said, the important, uh, the important thing here is the report itself done by the state government. But then, once it is out, for there to be actually uh, action on basis of the report, action as necessary by the state, action by the federal government, and action in sense of two things. First, making sure that based on what is documented to have happened, it won't happen again. So there may be reforms that are necessary and building or rebuilding trust between the citizens and security services. Between citizens and the state, there is an obligation of both the state and government and federal government. Secondly, is uh, account accountability. If there are individuals that, as it emerges from this report, who are responsible for committing abuses, there has to be accountability in terms of those individuals. That too is vital to rebuilding trust between citizens and state and the state's uh, security services. On what the United States would do if human rights abuses continued, he responded, and of course, we also have laws in place, the Lee laws, for example, that make sure that if there are units that have committed abuses, we are not going to provide equipment to those units. When asked, uh, pointedly, if the Lee law would be imposed on Nigeria, the Secretary of State responded, well, we look in any instance if and if there are credible allegations that prove that we believe meet the standard of the law. Yes, of course, we will apply the law. A petition by the rights group including Amnesty International and recently forced the U.S. Congress to call for the stoppage of weapons seized to Nigeria. When asked by CNN if the United States government would bow, 
to pressure by the U.S. Congress to impose an arms embargo on Nigeria amid incessant allegations of human rights abuse, Blinken said it will depend on Nigeria's response. Blinken stated that if there is genuine transparency, accountability and change that follows from this incident and uh, from these abuses, I think that is very important, not only to our administration, it is important to Congress in making judgments about continuing to provide assistance to the security forces. He explained that the assistance being given to the Nigerian military was not only hardware but training to tackle terrorism and criminal activities. Blinken said, but the assistance itself is not just hardware that we might provide airplanes or helicopters. It is the software, the human wear software. Both because of uh, the things that, are, that we are doing, uh, is making sure that we are providing equipment to deal profoundly secure uh, with prof deal with uh, profound security challenges that are faced here in Nigeria, terrorism, criminal activities, other violence. That those who will be using the equipment are trained in a way that makes sure that they are doing it to avoid hurting the good guys, even as they are going after the bad guys, to make sure that the laws of armed conflict are fully in mind, and that if they are if, if they make mistakes, they are corrected and they are brought to light immediately. All of that is very, very important. And of course, we also have laws in place. The Lee laws, for example, as we have said, that make sure that if there are units that are uh, guilty of having abu abused the uh, rights of the citizens, we are going to provide equipment uh, to those units. And yet again, this is Blinken, who happens to be the Secretary of the United States, uh, who came to Abuja just of recent to pay President Muhammad Buhari uh, a visit to discuss uh, Jamin matters, which includes the NSAS protest. We know that NSAS protest we have in October 2020, uh, where they were, it was alleged that the security agencies had killed a whole lot of citizens during the peaceful protest, of which was denied by the uh, federal government of Nigeria, especially the Lagos state government where it had happened. And therefore, a panel was set by the Lagos state government, of which was led by uh, a retired justice, Doris Okubi, who led a eight-man panel, and um, therefore, after this panel came in place, they had done uh, the necessary research of which they had uh, gotten to know the truth and uh, submitted report to the Lagos State government, which is expected to produce uh, a white paper, you know, to give the account on what had happened truly. And the United States had actually said that they are waiting for the Lagos State government and federal government to do the needful as soon as possible, uh, so that uh, they can know what position they will be holding because the United States has said that if the needful was not done,